For our next example, we are now given a circle having a diameter with endpoints at A, negative 1, and positive 4, and B at positive 4 and positive 2. So all we have to do first is to graph the points A and B. Therefore, this is point A at negative 1 and positive 4, and this is point B at positive 4 and positive 2. Now that we are given a diameter, and when we are given a diameter, always remember that the middle point or the center of the diameter is always the center of the circle because the diameter is the longest chord inside a circle. Therefore, if we will draw a line, the, the, the line AB, so let's draw a line. Therefore, somewhere between A and B lies the center. So how do we get the center? So all we have to do is to get its midpoint. And that midpoint is just equal to its center. Okay? So again, get the midpoint. And what is the formula for the midpoint? The formula for the midpoint is x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. This is point 1 and this is point 2. Therefore, that x is, x1 is negative 1. Plus, what is our x2? That is 4 over 2. And y1 plus y2 over 2, our y1 is 4 and our y2 is 2. So, that is 4 plus 2 over 2. Negative 1 plus 4 is equal to 3 over 2. And 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, 3 halves and 3 is the center of our circle. Let us try to graph. 3 halves is 1.5. Okay, so that is positive 1.5. This is 1, this is 1.5. Okay, positive 1.5 and then 3. So this is 3, this is 1.5. Therefore, this is now the center. Okay, we're now given the center. How do we get the radius? Therefore, this is the radius. This is also the radius of the circle. Okay, from the center having points 3, 2, 3 halves, and 3. Okay, we will be using the distance formula. Again, the distance formula is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. This is our point 1. And this is our point 2. Again, this is our point 1 and this is our point 2. Therefore, the distance between them or the radius, we should say this is now the radius, is equal to the square root of x2, which is 4, minus x1, which is 3 halves, 4 minus 3 halves, quantity squared, plus y2, which is 2, minus y1, which is 3, quantity squared, r now is equal to 4 minus 3 halves. Therefore, 2 times 4, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. Therefore, that is 5 halves squared plus 2 minus 3 is negative 1 squared. Therefore, r is equal to 5 over 2 squared is equal to the square root of what? Square root of 25 over 4 negative 1 squared that is plus 1. Okay, therefore r is equal to the square root of 4 times 1. 4. 4 plus 25 is equal to 29. Therefore, that is 29 over 4. Okay. Therefore, r squared now is equal to 29 over 4. Substituting in our formula, therefore, we'll be having x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. x minus h that becomes x minus 3 over 2 squared plus y minus k is y minus 
3 squared is equal to r squared, and we have r squared, which is 29 over 4. Therefore, this is the equation of the circle having diameter with endpoints at A, which is negative 4, negative 1, and 4, and B at 4 and 2.